So, for our next interview, I'm really pleased to have Sean and Catty, who I've worked with for over a decade. No, more than that. Yeah, maybe 12 years. Oh, yeah. Extra- yeah. long time. think about the time. And um, so, one of the reasons I really want you to, to be here to do this is you are so important to my journey in my career, is when I was first in the outdoor sector, I was a little bit unsure in finding my way through the work. And I remember having an epiphany when I saw you do the duet. Because it was so beautiful and so eloquent, and it spoke of so much, and it, it's something I've returned to over the years. And it, that was my ah, it can be like this outdoors. So I'm I'm eternally grateful to you for that moment. It was I didn't even know you at the time. I just watched it in one of the one of the I think it was the company of Z Cabarets. Mm, that's exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it I just, think it it makes me beautiful. think that you're a romantic man. Yeah. That you are very it's because it has it is a romantic thing and um, mm. yes. But I tell you that what I saw was the, was the tr- was it was so eloquent on trust and the trust between the two of you played out with juggling balls mm. and that was it and it. And as you know, I suddenly became a huge fan of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Um, and you've been absolutely. very instrumental to us and our journey. And I mean, I'm sure we'll talk in a moment yeah, yeah. about Smash and all that. But yes. it's been a good journey yeah, together. It has. No, well, it's really nice you do this. So I wonder, Gandini Juggling, I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do, the both of you. Shall I say? Uh, so so th- we've been running the company, my goodness, we're coming to three decades, wow. which is <laughs> terrifying. One doesn't see the time go by, but um, maybe somewhere between 25 and 30 years we've been running it. And initially it was just the idea of that juggling could be, we love the juggling that was around 25, 30 years ago, but it was limited in where it went and how it was presented. And we thought it had possibilities of other ways of 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 existing, whether that be through the filter of dance, which has mm-hmm, been mm-hmm. Cer- certainly a constant, the dance. And then, I guess, last maybe two decades, we've opened the door to theatre, visual arts. And then I feel like even though juggling is our core, there's all these other things that... Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? Tells me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I there, there are so many uh, d- different bits of, of cultural life that you've brought into juggling. I mean, they, it, are you unique in that as a company in terms of juggling? I don't know I guess the it, world of juggling that well. Mm, I, would, I would hesitate to use the word unique because it <laughs> seems a little bit... <laughs> and one is never the yeah. best judge on one's no, on no. oneself. No, you can't judge That's yourself. for mm. others well, to I judge. I think we do what we enjoy. We would enjoy yeah. seeing ourselves. Yeah, So of course. If, if we're happy with it, with it, then that's it, we're happy. Yeah, I think we, we, we make the things we would like to see in the world mm-hmm. and they didn't necessarily exist. You think, mm-hmm. well, why isn't there leak juggling? Why is so there leak make, juggling? So we made leak juggling and now there is there leak juggling and somebody and else so, doesn't I'm have so to do it. I'm so unfazed by that because <laughs> no, I've seen so much of uh, your work uh, and I look at the yeah, audience no, it's there true, today. It's true, it's true. And we should just say you've just done, you've literally about half an hour ago, you were doing your fourth performance of a brand <laughs> new show with leak juggling and tomatoes and vegetable juggling. There was a very, very nice elderly gentleman who came up to Cathy and I think he, he sort of took her wrist and he said I, I did rather enjoy that but why dear why <laughs> no, I said, what was it all about what's it all about <laughs> and I we said well ask. you tell me I don't know just a bit of fun you know with vegetables <laughs> yeah. and he went oh well, jolly good yes <laughs> carry on yes, yes. And it, is, it, is, it is a lot of fun <laughs> really so 30 years ago you became a company together before that Sean what had been your Journey so I'd had a point. bit of a juggling journey before yeah. that. Yeah. I had a sort of curious upbringing. I grew up in Havana and obsessed with magic tricks and mathematics. And then in my turbulent teenage years, mm-hmm. I decided I wanted to be a painter and magic and all these things. And I saw a few Covent Garden performers. Yeah. And Covent Garden is, uh, plays a big part in my development. Yes, so I came to London. I quit university just as I was about to graduate. Came to London started doing bad magic shows in Covent Garden, mm. saw some juggling, got completely obsessed by juggling, but like to the point of losing friends and... But you hadn't juggled as such. I could always juggle three or four things yeah. because as a, most magicians can juggle. So it was kind of a side skill that I had there. Yeah. But that idea of, of it taking me like this furious, mm-hmm. a little bit, I guess, like people get obsessed by Rubik's Cube or something. Okay. There was something about the neuromuscularness of it. Yeah. Of it. And because I have a terrifyingly addictive personality, mm-hmm. I just yeah, really. Did you oh, not know? Yes. You're going to learn yeah, I mean so to. Much yeah, today. I did mean to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I, I so forgot so to mention years that. Yeah. Ago. Uh, and then I spent a few years, maybe two or three, doing street shows. Yep. 
uh, and with, with juggling, Sally, yeah. with juggling. Yeah. and I did kind of probably some terrible street shows. I would put Chopin classical music on yeah. and do these very technical juggling shows, and everybody on the street used to go, "Come on, what the hell is this guy doing?" And then I, I used to be the straight man in in sort of comedy double acts and things okay. like that, which is ironic that in the current companies I feel like I'm the funny man. Mm -hmm. uh, and then one day Catty turns up. And so I'm juggling on the side of Covent Garden and Cathy turns up and says, oh, they're interesting clubs. Can I try them? I was a bit like, yeah. So she picks up two clubs and she goes, whoo, 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 reverse spin, catch behind the back. And I'm like, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so hold that so no, yes. yes, hold that. Where, what <laughs> took you, what's, what's your journey to that moment in Covent Garden with so the clubs? So I started with ballet when I was about maybe seven or eight. Yep. And I had a horrible teacher. And then my mum took me away from the ballet because she was like slapping us and, and oh, wow. my mum went, no, you're not going to do that. So I followed all my friends to Rhythmic Gymnastics because they all, all my, when I went to ask them to go out with me, they were like, no, we need to go and practice gymnastics. So I went with them. I was like, fine, I'll go as well. Okay. So 10 years of Rhythmic Gymnastics and that finished. I went to do something completely different, go somewhere else. And I chose London as a mm -hmm. place to go and be from, a from pair. Yeah. yeah. So they've been the, the ballet and the yeah, gymnastics have been in Finland. In Finland. And so I came to London to, to just learn the language and to be somewhere different mm -hmm. a little bit. And went to Covent Garden wow. and went, whoa, that's amazing. I've ne I had never seen juggling before, even though we, we used two objects and we saw yes. a fair amount. So it's a sort of a juggling, yeah. but I hadn't seen like three object juggling ever. So do you do the life. stuff with the ribbon and yeah, the, the ball exactly. catch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so there was actually, uh, there's a bit of... There's a lot of catching. Object yeah, the, there. It's, yeah, And see. actually me personally, I really love the, the, the objects. I wasn't very super flexible like some girls are. I, I just enjoyed the objects and the performing and all that. Yeah. So then... And so I then you saw, so you saw Sean, Sean in, in Covent Garden. In, yeah, performing. And went, that's great, I need to try this. And uh, yeah, there we are. So you juggled in... So easily and she or? learned so so quickly and easily because yeah. yeah, actually easily. I've been capturing some old tapes of our first shows which were maybe like a year in we were making shows right and the, it, the, the juggling you're doing a year in is kind of crazy looking back but at interesting it now. That, like if you talk about if a proper juggler would look at it they would not think maybe so because my I didn't have a five balls until mm. maybe three years in yeah but that's two the years time in. it takes yeah but there's something about mm. the consistency and I would say yeah. now there there's something about the precision of your juggling and we do when we do our indoor shows which are all in careful environments and all of mm. that that there's a section we do in our latest show spring where they do uh, four rings and almost even some re world renowned extraordinary jugglers shuffle a bit and Katty's feet are just glued right. so i think that that yeah. thing that she got as a as a young girl but i think you were saying you're, you were obsessed with the, the juggling i think i have this a similar kind of mindset from gymnastics where you have to really practice a lot mm -hmm. like <laughs> hours and hours and i actually loved i loved it i used yeah. to love uh, rehearsing and practicing so I like going into a gym and doing two hours of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. facing the wall and just practicing wow. which well helps. tomorrow is the yeah. first day off we have in maybe three weeks we've been yeah. traveling making a show yeah. we did four shows and we're both looking forwards to going to the gym in the morning juggling wow. and doing ballet class in the afternoon that's, that's a day off so we're like yay we get to go and do ballet class <laughs> and uh, but it just is what we like. It's not that yeah. we're forcing yeah, ourselves to do it. It's, yeah. I kind of, I lose my sanity if I, even though now we were making the show, but it, you juggle only a little bit every day. And I yeah. like this. It's horrible. You don't get to do your practice. You're like, oh, you, you need yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. you need to do yeah. that. So, thing. and I also have to ask, so you taught Katty to juggle. Yes. And meantime, the relationship is developing. So, so actually, actually, you didn't teach me. Juggle. Okay. No. It was actually somebody called Alex. Okay. Yes, that's right. right. Yes, no, you're right. absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Very difficult way. laughs> My memory doesn't serve me well. I yeah. have little blanks. But, but you were yes. juggling together while you were... We, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody yeah, yeah. else told me the, the actual cascade. Yeah. Yeah. But we were in a relationship quite quickly. quickly and, from, yeah. yeah. We, but we juggled first. 
Did we I juggle before? Juggle first, I, I think so. I think we juggled first. Juggle yeah. and then sex. No, sex yes. and juggling. No, ju Sorry. Yeah, so, most really? days first juggling. Then sex. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Well, I get them quite confused. That intimate, so yes, wait, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that which ones? No, which ones <laughs> the ones with the ring? Oh no, that's the juggling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. as you, so when did when did you first make a show together then? About a year after. Was it? That long, do you think? Even less. I have a feeling so, less than that because so, we did Spring Loaded. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, no, resolution. So, so the. I came in January '91. So I and used I met to. met you in the summer. Yes, and I used to practice. And we were married in October. That's right. Oh yeah, no, there's oh, another okay, thing. Sorry, sorry, there's more to the story. Yeah. So there's two two strands to the story. One, I, we I we used to practice in a place called Jubilee Hall by Covent Garden. Yeah. yeah. And there was a lovely man called, well, this, he still is a lovely man, uh, Scott Clark, who was a dancer in the Siobhan Davis Dance Company mm -hmm. at the time. And he used to come by and watch me juggle. And he said, you know, the classes we do, the dance classes we do, would do you a lot of good. Mm -hmm. And I went, and these were these independent lie down and feel your body classes. They were great. Mm -hmm. it, they were just what I needed. And Cathy started coming along. So we were a little bit hovering on, on the outside of the independent dance scene. Mm -hmm. okay. And there was an, a wonderful woman called Jill Clark, yeah. whose classes we used to adore. Yeah. And I got a lot of courage up and phoned her from a phone booth. Phone booth. Phone yeah, booth right. days. Mm -hmm. And booth said, days. would okay. you like to spend some time making a piece with us? And she said yes, and I was so... <laughs> I remember when, because I was outside, he was on the phone, and he went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But I feel, ironically, that the, the Cunningham Company uh, in New York has just agreed to let us have some pieces and transform some most Cunningham pieces into our world. Really? And I had the similar mm. sensation, and I feel like... I guess oh. it's life, it's knocking on doors and seeing if people will come out to yeah. play. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but sorry, then rewinding, the, one of the, the pioneers of British circus, maybe the first or second English new circus company is Rara Zoo. Rara it comes Zoo. from the yes, street. Of course. Yes. Uh, and Dave Spathaki had yeah. a bit of an injury in a leg. And Sue Broadway approached me before I'd met Catty to do an African tour. Mm -hmm. literally with a, a two weeks rehearsal and boom off yeah. to Africa we were doing yeah. a Rao tour and then I did a South American tour and then for the next show I said to Sue I've just met Cathy she'd be perfect and so our first show <laughs> and so our first show was with Rara Zoo uh, okay so I didn't know you'd been with Rara Zoo as well yeah. so you, you yeah. crossed into the okay. in fact I um, I stayed when you I did a prima to, donna I think I did a, a prima, prima donna, donna I don't do them anymore yeah what <laughs> <laughs> but no, not yeah. Much, no. But it was it was called Stop Laughing. This is serious. Yours, yeah. It wasn't yours called? No, Gravity Swing. Oh, Gravity Swing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And so and then we were first week rehearsal. I think we'd known each other about three months. We had made some material, mm -hmm. and Sue Broadway said, "Right, Katy, can you bring in your work documents tomorrow?" And I went. We were like work documents. Oh, oh wow. Because Finland wasn't part of the European Union. Wow. Okay. So then a week later we traveled to France, got married. We got married at King's no, Cross. We got, married, we got married at King's Cross, went to do exactly. dance class. Yeah. <laughs> then got on a ferry. Ferry, yeah. yeah. Bus and ferry. Bus and ferry. Ate a milfeu in Paris, got married, uh, had the, the stamp. Yeah, just about. He wasn't going to give no, it to us. No, he wasn't. And, and then and we I came back and then we were married. And then he gave us a stamp. And wow. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah he did the crying thing. That was good. <laughs> so it was a marriage of convenience, literally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we would have ended up getting married anyway. Uh, yeah. But we, uh, we were living together now. Yeah. Yes, but we were living in sin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you got married so you could work. So you took to a rah yeah. zoo. You got yeah. married for Rara Zoo. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then six months after, Finland was part of the European Union. Oh, right. So, so you didn't have to marry. Didn't have to marry yeah. yeah. You. Amazing. Uh, so then, so Jill, t t talk a little about Jill. Oh, Jill. You, you oh, know, Jill. Jill. such an important mm. part of your life. Yeah. The, obviously, that in the phone booth, it was a turning point. Yes, it was. In, absolutely. in yeah. Yeah. your view of, of the, what you yes. thought you could do with juggling. Yes. And Jill was incredibly... Influential. Do you want to talk to about that? Jill? Or? It was uh, for me. It was the style of dance first of all, and she had the same kind of. She was completely obsessed with work and mm -hmm. making things and constantly mm. dancing, and she was always creating something. And mm -hmm. uh, but but really, for me, that the way of dancing was the mm. one. Talk, talk about what that style was. It was a release uh, release style, contemporary, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it took me so long to, she kept telling me to not do this. 
<laughs> yeah, gymnastic <laughs> hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it yeah. took yeah. me like two years to get rid of that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it was just such a lovely different way of moving from gymnastics where you have to be all very uh, mm -hmm. hard and... And, oh, just and so then nice Jill had an aesthetics yeah. as well in that, uh, and and I think in in many ways her aesthetic was incredibly liberating, and in some ways also imprisoning. I think to us, but uh, I think Jill was very influenced by the whole Judson Church and the Cunningham American contemporary dance. Mm -hmm. So it was this idea that things could be just what they were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. juggling didn't have to tell a story. It didn't have to be entertaining in the classical way like it didn't have yeah. to yeah. build to tricks mm. yeah. so and i think a lot when we started a lot of people uh, in the british circus scene were like they have all this skill why are they doing this deconstructed material mm -hmm. so i think it was quite controversial our first decade i mean i i think there's been stuff some of the stuff we do is still controversial yes, is. now yeah. Yeah. and i guess one has in got more in it yeah yeah I, I, I don't think we ever set out to be controversial. It just so no, happened that... it was literally, again, the, the thing of we wanted to... We did what we wanted to do. Yeah. We wanted to use the whole space. When I came to juggling, I looked at some juggling and I thought, why are they just doing this? Yes. Mm -hmm. And because in gymnastics, you have to use the whole mm, area. So yeah. I went, yeah. can't yeah. we just like use every corner of the space? Diagonals. And diagonals. I mean, and yeah. Yeah. Really silly going things. Backwards like, and yeah, going backwards yeah. and going... Stuff was, that now, I mean, uh, just going around here, this beautiful circus stuff that uses a space yeah. that now is taken for granted. Structure. But yeah. Structure. When we started, there was no, nothing, nothing like that. I think some of the early pieces, if we did them now, people would still... We used to get boo at English juggling conventions really? and, yeah wow yeah and and but you stuck to that you were believed we're in stubborn. your vision clearly we're, yeah. stubborn. we're yeah. stubborn and I think yeah. being two of us yeah, yeah I think if we'd been easy. alone mm -hmm. I don't know if I could have mm -hmm. taken the negativity alone mm -hmm. yeah I think we were lucky that when one was a little bit down and went we, we have we're 5,000 under <laughs> we haven't <laughs> got any what are we gonna do and it's like mm -hmm. yeah we, we can do this come on let's yeah. push yeah. through and that's but it sounds thing. like the vision that is the company is so shared. You're both informing, just hearing you talk about the gymnastics coming into it, that discipline. You've done rara zoo craziness. Then you're, it's it's very much a joint vision that, and you fed each other by the sound of it. Would that sound right? It's quite rare that we come to a place where the other one goes, "Oh my God, what are you suggesting?" Sure. Yeah, and and bizarrely. I think some of the more extreme, extreme aesthetic or things, or more things which diverge from the norm more, sometimes people think they come from me, mm -hmm. but actually a lot of the time they come from Catty. Yeah, like yeah. I remember Clowns and Queens had the scene, which I think is a beautiful scene. It's probably our most controversial show, Clowns and Queens, mm -hmm. and it had a scene with uh, women naked on these surgical tables, mm -hmm. and it's really quite a dark, almost medieval hell oh, thing. I remember it, sure is. Uh, yeah. But actually, it was Katy, uh, Katy's idea to have the women... I think I made us crawl as well in Smashed. Yes, I think it was and then I often get... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. which I think is a great... And then they blame him. They blame me for right. being a misogynist. <laughs> but you're, 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 you're deconstructing all of those areas together, though. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. A, no, no, it's, it's a, a bouncing. Yeah, and absolutely. then I think if you went to do a piece on your own, probably it would be different to a piece that I would do on my own. And uh, I don't know because I'm not interested in doing a piece on my own. Mm. <laughs> Tell me about the first show that with, with Jill then. What was that? What was it like? Wow, what? brain melt. It was a brain melt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was fantastic with counts and we had um, so many, so much complicated structure and yeah. And, and I think for you, because Katia had been used to setting things exactly to the music, mm -hmm. whereas, and I still have aspects of that in how I perform, but I had not done that thing where it's exactly on seven that you throw. So the first few throws mm -hmm. I would do, I'd, in the show you get into it and you throw a bit later and Katty would be a bit like, uh, but no, you said you would throw on seven. So all of a sudden I realized I had to pull my socks up. Right. Uh, yeah, maybe that was one of the hardest things to, to come to an understanding that you've got to stick with your, if yeah. you said mm -hmm. something, that's how it is. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, yeah let's improvise. I've realized that what I do <laughs> yeah. recently yeah. is I set everybody exactly and I give myself margin to. <laughs> yeah, of course. Clever, yeah, that's so that's you're allowed to though that's, yeah. that's it. um but so that, that it's actually that's it's that gymnastic discipline then coming in that, that you probably wouldn't have had without yeah that. i i but see that in how you make material the, the Katy has an ability to add movement to juggling that mm -hmm. i haven't 
genuinely I have never seen in anybody else. Mm-hmm. That's Complex what, coordination. Yeah. And there's Kim in our company who's fantastic and who can follow mm-hmm. those coordinations. There's a handful of people who can. Yeah. But I would say it's unique to you and I, I'm sure that comes from gymnastics. And I am sometimes jealous of, because the company does such dance-based work, of not having had a classical dance education. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I would say that you've learned way more of what, how I do things than, than I've taken from you. Because he has the, the ability to improvise anywhere. He can do a show there yeah. and entertain people. I can't. I, no. Because mm-hmm. I, need a, I need a controlled environment. I need to know what I'm doing. And then I'm okay. But... Mm-hmm. It, yeah. I think you. Uh, I'm a little bit better at it now, but in the beginning, like there was no way hmm. I could have just gone out and done the, sure. done the show. So, so we had maybe another turning point, which was the dome. Mm-hmm. Okay. And for, for many, yes. Yeah, for and it was mainly financially it yep. set us up because we it had been a bit of a financial struggle until mm-hmm. then. Or we used to do corporate gigs because we have a certain amount of technical juggling. Yep. Yep. Uh, corporate gigs and street gigs like a, yep. there was a company called Fool's Paradise who were very mm-hmm. good for us for, for many years. Yep. Um, John Hole who used to run crowd pullers. Uh, so you were working, you, you were kind of supporting Perhaps the more creative side with the more yes. commercial work. Art yeah. commerce, art yeah. commerce. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, which is so sort of still how you operate. To a degree. Yeah, 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 but actually, less the, but still yeah. something. we're lucky yeah. in that, for example, something that could be called art, like smashed, pays for a lot of the other Absolutely. shows. Absolutely. So, that, so yeah. the the proper like um, bankers' Christmas parties. Yeah, we'll take them, and maybe some people in the company will do them. But if we they do. offered. If they're off, they yeah. Offered so much yeah, it's no, funny because sure. some of the other people in the company organise them for some reason they don't phone us. Yeah, I'm there, I'm waiting by my phone. Yeah. Yeah. My phone yeah. doesn't ring. Yeah, because you're headlining sad as well. Yeah, so no, they wouldn't no, pick no. up the phone to you to do a corporate gig. <laughs> I mean, I've used you in corporate gigs. Yeah. God knows. Yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, 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 we, yeah. We sort of did the yeah. work. Oh, I can pay you proper money for once. That was it. But, but, and I think within the, the UK economy, arts economy, even though we have received a considerable amount of funding, I would say, considering the amount of work we do globally, we receive massively less funding than anybody else. We are mm-hmm. a rare case of mm-hmm. somehow self-funding yeah. a lot. Yeah, no, that, it's a really and interesting model. I mean, I often point people in your direction to look at how you've made that work. Because yeah. it, but yeah. but it, it's not one that I've seen too often, so it's quite mm-hmm. important, it, no. it's important. I don't know, apart exists. from maybe the, the, the Canadian companies, I don't know if seven, but seven, I don't know how much money that Seven Fingers get from the government. Or, but I would say in Europe we're one of the only companies that produces. It's all labels because what's artistic and what's mm-hmm. commercial that's just in people's minds. But what is we're normally labelled as producing artistic work, mm-hmm. but the, a lot of it is self-funded. Sure. So the dome, you were you there the whole year? We were there yeah. the, the whole, whole year. year. Every yeah. day. Every day. Every day. And, and uh, what, how many of you was that? There was two teams of six, oh, so we had yeah. twelve, right. and we alternated because it was seven days a week. Yeah. We course. would um, one team would be in, and then another team. See, I know I came to the dome, and I know I saw juggling, so I guess I it saw must have been you. Us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere yeah. along the way, without knowing. And you. and the dome was such a complicated uh, socio-political thing. Mm-hmm. But for us, we were supposed to be doing big shows in the center arena, and then it turned out that there weren't enough people. So we ended up doing semi-streety shows. And this is where I kind of disagree right. with you, that I think you got streety at but the I dome. I was going to say that that's, yeah, right. that's when I learned how to deal with a streety situation, I right. think, because we had to. There was no other way. Mm-hmm. We couldn't... Drop lines and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and... And what kind of work was it? It was. It was. I'd say there were street walkabout. shows. Yeah. It was kind of it street was shows. Walk about yeah. street shows. Yeah, it, I but would actually say, quite fun. Like yeah. the people who were there were very happy yeah. and they were yeah. very yeah yeah friendly yeah. and it was nice. And it do. set us up. It did set us up for yeah. And then I would um, say the next turning point. Then around then we stopped working with Jill for complex n- nothing personal. I think Jill was doing other things and yeah, then sure. Jill sadly got ill, mm-hmm. uh, and then the duet Mm -hmm. so the duet existed in an experimental form in a piece called septet it had this music that went one two three that kind of thing yeah and people go oh that's kind of kind of interesting and then i said to katty do you know you put a slushy romantic song on this duet and everybody's gonna go ah so we went we had a gig 
Was it not for your parents? Uh, it was for my parents' wedding yeah, anniversary. Said, oh. Let's do the dread, but let's do it. Let's just put a slushy. Yeah. And then we did it in a few places and, and everybody went. And then all of it, at it. first I felt, this is strange to say, but I felt dirty, dirty from using music in such a manipulative way. Yeah. So this is 12 years into making shows yeah, yeah. and I'm absolutely like, you must not use narrative, revolutionary, experimental work. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I go, wow, theatre. Because the dirtiness that you feel using emotional music to manipulate a scene mm -hmm. is actually theatre. Mm -hmm. I know it, it took me a long time to realise yeah. that. Yeah. And all of a sudden that is an enormous revelation. So then yeah. we made a duet with JP. John Paul Zaccarini. Yeah. John Paul Zaccarini. And the star, star of the time. Great. Yeah, yeah. I think and the we, star. we enjoyed Once we found the, yeah. the beginning was a little bit difficult, and yeah. then we found a way to work with JP. And, and, and I think was, Smash uh, Indirectly comes from yes. that duet. Totally. Then we made another piece called Kadunk that was kind of fun, where we played quite slimy. Well, some of us. So I played a very slimy, pervy yeah. man. Yeah. Okay. And But that was also theatre. And then I think that some of the pieces we are making at the moment have roots in those kind of... Mm -hmm. It was all of a sudden to go, okay, it's okay to be theatrical. Yeah. And then from then on, it felt like the world was our playground. We yeah. have this juggling vocabulary and we can do whatever yeah. we want with it. And wh what other dance styles are coming in then at this point? At that point, we're still a bit rooted in, in jewels. Yeah. Yeah. I would say we didn't reopen the door to other... After Smash, so Smash... So we could talk about Smash in a minute. Yep. But after Smash, I bumped into a woman called Teresa Beatty, who'd helped us right at the beginning, which she was involved in dance umbrella and has had has worked mm -hmm. everywhere in dance. And she was working for two years at the Royal Ballet. Mm -hmm. And when we were performing Smash at the Limbury, she I said to her, Wow, it'd be fascinating to see what would happen if you put ballet and juggling together. Right. And she said, Why don't I give well, you some space? Okay. And the best yeah. collaborations are like that, that yeah. they just... And then we got into studio with ballet dancers and then we got obsessed with ballet. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Erin, who is in the show today, mm -hmm. has been with us five mm -hmm. years. She comes from ballet and has been coming. So I feel yeah. now, we, yeah. I feel like we're quite open. Mm -hmm. Almost too much, maybe we're too open. Our brains will fall out. <laughs> but no, it always changes. But, but, but I mean, for me, I, I remember when we first... Okay, smashed. When we first sat down to talk about that and... You explained to me, I remember writing down Pina Bausch, what's that? Better go. <laughs> I literally didn't have a clue. And uh, I knew a little bit about Cunningham, but I didn't, it, it wasn't particularly my vocabulary. Now I go to everything that I can mm. to see Pina. You know, my dance education is through you. And I, I, watch, the, I, I watch Pina Bausch and I think, oh, they're, they're probably influenced by the Cantinis. <laughs> oh, no, I think, no, it's the other way around. I, no. Do you know, it makes me infinitely happy when people have found Pina Bausch mm. via us. Absolutely. And then we made friends with Dominic Merci, who's one of the, the, the great Pina Bausch mm -hmm. uh, dancers. We had a period because the Pina Bausch show came to life so quickly, thanks to you, mm -hmm. and it was never supposed to live on. So the fact that it had this huge life was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. But so I had this sense of guilt that at some point, somebody from the Pina Bausch company would turn up and yeah. go, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing with that material? And it was the yeah. opposite. We had a few people that yeah. came and said, it just is part of that world. Yeah. And I almost cried. When Dominic said that to me, yeah, I, yeah. I think I, I almost cried. Yeah, it's, well, it's, yeah. it's a great validation. And so it, it should just, be there. Yeah. It's, but I mean, now, it's, it, now I understand where that language came from and I understood what you're doing with the sexual politics of it. Funnily enough, that show often, I've seen reviews of it saying, a family-friendly fun show. And I'm like, no, mm. it's, it's a dark piece mm. about gender and, mm. and, and appalling relationships and how badly we treat each other. No, it's mm. a great one for the kids. But it has all extremes. What I find bizarre with Smash is exact. We did it in New York a year ago. And uh, in a very liberal, middle-class um, theatre. And there was a talk after the show and about... We stayed for about two and a half hours, and it right. was the gender politics people wanted right. to talk about. Yeah. And it's it's very strong, and it what is not mm. it's not what I was ever going to expect in in my job, mm -hmm. and I and I wasn't expecting it when we said yes to doing it because I remember you sold me on the apples thing, <laughs> and I thought, well, that sounds crazy and fun, and, it, and, oh, and no. he has a good and, way of and we talked about the smashing <laughs> at the end, and I thought, yeah. okay, well. Who else is going to say There's been a yes few. to that? I think Catty was reminding me of, we applied to, I won't mention who they are, but one of the big outdoor funding English yeah. about uh, using body parts mm -hmm. in performance outdoors. And so they gave us 
a small amount of money to research that. But when we said body parts, we hadn't mentioned that they were small penises. Right. And they were lovely coloured penises. And so we, we got into a studio and we had so much fun. And there are these mathematical patterns where we yeah. pass penises around and of attach course. them in Velcro. And then I naively, sh- I, there was a room full of outdoor producers and mm-hmm. I came with my films of these little penises yeah. moving around and then every, there was this silence in the room. And yeah. So <laughs> we don't um, receive funding from those people. Actually, don't. they you did don't. give us some money no, after I that. They were very actually. nice. They were yeah. very nice. <laughs> But, I mean, there, there are other patterns is, you know, to be in the Gandini show, you've got to be prepared to lose most of your clothing, possibly. It's, yeah, it's become a bit of a, there, there's been a few, but not indoor, all. Indoors. 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 Yeah, yeah all some. Them. There has been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there has yeah, been. Sure, a, yeah. Come up. I mean, it's I'm just... I'm used to it. I'm used to yeah, that. Yeah, and and yeah. It's, but it's, it's part of your... And the, there is the shape now, and, and I mean this is good, is, is there is this journey in your work where it, it starts off calm and lovely and clean, and then we descend somewhere mm. with fruit or with crockery or you know with with mm. the music as well your music choices are always very interesting as well there's this there is this kind of journey that that happens there's this lovely i i was at the beginning of it i feel very safe and then i know now i know the shows i know where it's going and i find that quite sad sometimes going oh my god this lovely world is going mm-hmm. to fall apart do you agree do you say do you think that's our, our formula it's a formula for certain shows. And yeah, I mean, not all the way. Then there's yeah. the other side, which is like spring and four by four. Yeah. It doesn't. It does, it does the main, main be the same thing with structure more than. Hmm. More than Actually, four by four is almost the opposite in that it, 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 at the end of the show, it's all the multicolored tidy. boards are put on the floor, they get organized into. Yes, it tidies itself. It tidies. It? Yeah. Does, what about spring? Spring doesn't necessarily have an order or chaos journey. Well, it, it's a chaotic colour in the end. Colour. So. I, I worry tremendously when... Um, no, but for example, on this one, because, because Smash has been so successful yeah. that, make, that you make pieces, that you have a formula that works and you try and reproduce it. Mm-hmm. So, and I realise in this one that there is something very similar to it. Yeah. But, uh, you, must, you shouldn't try and recreate the formula, but you shouldn't also stop yourself from doing something that you... But I think it reflects... It, I find it very reflective of our times, is what I admit, is this, is this chaos that is yeah. lurking around the corner, and you take us there visually. Um, the, with, with Smash, I find it very interesting, because we did a couple of others after that, that that didn't have the same kind of life, but for me it felt like the characters from Smashed kind of carried on, and they yes. went into the world of Blotched, which was yes. crazy yeah. paint. Yeah. And, 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 and then I, we did a very structural the, one called 2020. We did for... Uh, for 20, so I think we did four big pieces year. with you. Yeah. And I would say working with you... Sorry, I'm yeah. a terrible interrupter, I must That's apologize. Right. Uh, working with you was also a catalyst uh, in that you gave us a certain amount of artistic freedom that's very rare. Mm-hmm. That yeah. It's almost uh, a okay. renaissance. Oh, wow, I like that. It's, I'll take it's that a one renaissance away. thing mm-hmm. where you go, here's a canvas, paint me something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I don't mind yeah. what you paint me. But that's, that's not strictly true, is that you did a good deal with me. It was like, I would say, <laughs> I need the lovely, family-friendly daytime shows to fill oh, my square yes. and you will come and do the sweet life which I also oh, yeah, love oh the sweet life, life. Yeah, 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 lovely yeah, yeah, yeah. romantic yeah. juggling lovely um, <laughs> and then at night you can do what the hell you want mm-hmm. you know, that was actually I'd the forgotten deal. that bit uh, of the yes, bargain yeah, too, I I've forgotten yeah. that bit of the bargain that, we created that pattern and it was oh, very yeah, much, I forgot you know, that bit of the bargain so it did work very well uh, and, and you know and actually I, I thought they were exemplary you know the, the daytime shows, the fun shows. Uh, yeah, they I remember great. they were fun. I miss, I miss those. We don't have the equivalent of that. No. no. I mean, yeah. on, on one That's level, true. we've been fortunate in that we're doing. Well, Smash is a little bit like that. Smash is a little bit like that. Not, but not quite. Yeah. Nice. The Sweet Life was so much fun to do. Sweet Life. Yeah. We did a lot yeah. of. And it's very strange. Yeah. I mean, it was interesting when you were talking about you getting streets up. You know. I just see you as a lovely in that one, lovely mm-hmm. performer, and the kids all adore yeah. you. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. No, actually, you're very sweet. And yeah. And, that, that were very strong, and it was always it was always a really easy. Oh, well, put Sweet Life on at lunchtime, mm. and it'll be a lovely day in the square for some. We need to do it again. I miss they, Sweet Life. Sweet Life was fun. But yeah. you first did that in the fountains, didn't you? We by did. It was commissioned so by, by, in fact, by Bradley yeah. under a different hat. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And that, so so you and you that. and Bradley, yeah, both uh, mm. had had a big influence of. 
that commissioning and but being quite open with a commissioning mm -hmm. which i feel like times have changed and maybe mm -hmm. what i'm about to say is is not the most fashionable thing but i feel like we're imprisoned in a political um left-wing idea of what political art is mm -hmm. which to me sometimes feels very restrictive mm -hmm. and uh i in its worst form, which happens very rarely, it's Bolshevik art. It's mm -hmm. happy women driving tractors wow. in the fields of Russia. Which I would also pay to see. <laughs> that's, that's a great <laughs> Maybe show. There's a show. If you did but it right, that but would be amazing. I, but in practice. its extreme. And so I feel like we are so worried about what we produce. Mm. Uh, I remember I, I, about two decades ago reading this thing about uh, uh, Stéphane Mallarmé being a French poet, one of the first to take apart the structure of words, of him being a very political poet. Mm -hmm. And I feel that notion of the political in art, mm -hmm. of messing with structure, messing with form, is not fashionable, that we want things that say these mm -hmm. are the good guys and these are the bad guys. Well, I think, and I think people, uh, there's quite a lot of let's t tackle subjects directly because people yes. are struggling with so many yes and, and yes, I think that's exactly the more yeah. abstract areas that you know that feel yes. a little bit undefined um so with smash let's just finish so it, it was one year only and now it's 10 years later nine years later 10 years next year and it's still yeah. going strong you how many people have been in it i mean so many i never i sometimes um, people in 30? it 30? there's 30. about 30 performers yeah, about. yeah. and it's yeah. done about 700 shows 700 now in about 50 countries yeah and different responses worldwide? Uh, similar responses, yeah. apart from one place. But, um, the one place yeah. it crashed out was Adelaide in really? Australia. It was partly not the best space for it, but I yeah. would say they were the, the shows which worked the least, bizarrely. Mm -hmm. But then in Adelaide, we did one outdoor show of it in Walmart mm -hmm. and it really worked. So, mm -hmm. But Adelaide was the worst. Then Russia. We did the whole show, no clapping, no laugh. Well, oh, crap, uh, but then the crawling of the women, clapping and laughing. <laughs> Do you oh remember? God. That was kind of weird. But in Finland as well. In Finland, wow. same thing. Same thing, no. So, no, actually, Finland was even, <laughs> yes. And then just, yes. Jeez. Yeah. What yeah. have you done? What Pandora's box did you open there? Uh, no. That's amazing. They, uh, do, they do react a little bit differently in each country, yeah. but mostly, mostly it's a show that you can send out with... Any, any of our performers, yeah. and you know it's going to work. And what's great so, is they all use their own personalities. Yeah, Nobody exactly. replicates yes. when, when... We yeah. have great I, so I've, I've seen it without you two in it, and it was like, oh, yeah. my, I, mean, I was no, like, oh, no, no, it's completely it's different. Yeah. It's yeah. a different yeah. narrative. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's been lovely seeing like some of the younger jugglers mm. who I've seen yeah. doing their own street stuff, mm. and then suddenly they're in a yeah. suit in mm. Smashed, and they still have their own energies and their own vulnerabilities that you've played upon, which is great. And you, I mean, I suppose we shouldn't particularly mention Owen and Nath, who were two of your closest yeah, collaborators yeah, absolutely. and over a long period of time and they're, yeah. they're very much part of the Gandini juggling yeah, team yeah, yeah. and obviously part of, I mean, part of the creative process as well. Yeah, I, I, I mean yeah. actually I would say, and I don't know if Cathy agrees with me on this, that uh, all the performers have a, a big influence, so depending yeah. on who we make a show with, we couldn't make our shows without them. No. I mean, it's yeah. not like we arrive and we have it yeah. all scripted. There's maybe a director's name on the programme but actually yeah. it's yeah. often a very collaborative. Yes. Yes. And, you, and again, I think I see that when I see other people going into shows that I recognise. And of course, like the feet are the same, but the yeah. personalities, mm. and they're bringing all of that in mm. there. Um, and certainly in the first Smash, you used those personalities. So that's why it worked, yes. I think, because yeah. We, yeah. immediately they were characters. And I yes. still think of them more as characters, yeah. Yeah. not as yeah. yourselves, more so than any other. And of course, I, I'm, I feel so privileged. I was the first person to see it. Yeah, in a yeah. little Emily. room. In a little room. Yeah, yeah, you and Emily upstairs. Sat there. I remember. I, did I drop went, an apple on your head? I don't think you did. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I'm sorry about that. I remember we were, we were like really moved by it and yeah. you were so surprised we were like oh, it's beautiful and like, well it's just a jungle show with apples and we, we didn't even do the smashing but it's so desperate when they smash the crop. it was so so beautiful so I, I that's one of my great privileged moments to have seen that um i just want to ask you a few things about outdoors world of outdoors so what is the first thing you can remember seeing outdoors sean candini i i think i have covent garden maybe the first time maybe. i connected was shows in covent garden yeah. and alex dandridge uh, when you uh, doing the most beautiful five balls, and then uh, the Mendezes, it was a couple of legendary double comedy acts. So right. it's that kind of end of the eighties generation mm -hmm. that I outdoors. That's the stuff yeah. that got me, and I w and then yeah, ex 
yeah, maybe I'll talk later about experimental, but that's the mm -hmm. first stuff I saw. But I think also that's an interesting time because that, that, that Covent Garden wasn't what it is now at that point either. No, it, 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 no, it, ha so it was much. alive. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But I have to be careful because there's, there's a there's a danger of that nostalgia where you go, oh, things course, yeah. aren't what yeah. they yeah. used to be. But no, I remember mm. it when it was a fruit and veg market. Mm. I mean, I so literally remember going yeah, and seeing yeah, the yeah, no, absolutely, the, absolutely. the there. Yeah. So, yeah. What about you, Katty? What do you remember? Seeing? The first thing I saw was the florists in Covent Garden mm. with Sean and Mark Digby and John, John Feeney. Feeney. And yeah. So they, that, they this, is, this is suddenly. just like the moment, yeah. this is your, your, your dangerous corner moment in yeah, life. If yeah, you haven't absolutely. seen that, you, like, you have a different life. The first mm. I hadn't seen juggling and then there's yeah. a street performance with wow. juggling in it. And, mm. yeah, and a husband. And it was so funny. <laughs> I mean, it was hilarious. It was a funny show. It was a funny show. It was a really good show. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, and inspirations, we talked about Jill, other inspirations in your work, uh, apart from each other. I We've was going to say that. the husband. Yeah. No, the wife. Yeah. The wife. Yeah. Oh, oh. No. That's very What's your clear. inspiration? <laughs> Jill. Jill. Yeah. 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 And um, actually, there's so much good juggling around. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm. That, that there's, there's youngsters constantly mm. coming up. Youngsters and older people. Mm. And um, That's a diversion that I, I notice you, uh, you're finding more women. I mean, I remember there was a bit of a struggle finding really good women jugglers. Yeah, I think we have gone slightly consciously out looking for them. Yeah. Mm. So. But I, maybe I, I would hope that young women are encouraged by seeing the work, you know, because yeah. it's a great. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I hope, hope so. so. So, Jill, any, any, I mean, obviously, in the biggest scale, people like Pina like, Bausch and Cunningham. And when I was younger, I had um, gymnastic idols, Galina Belaglasova, and. Then later on, Cunningham, mm -hmm. Pina Bausch, and actually just the colleagues. Like the colleagues, yeah. 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 To be honest, there's people who do amazing stuff, and yeah. We have little crushes, which I think we share. We we, we both have a crush on William Forsyth's work. Okay. And Merce Cunningham has been an ongoing, and which is why now the fact that the Cunningham Trust has yeah. said, uh, they were so nice. I sent them an email about three months ago saying, hey, we run this uh, juggling company, and we wondered if you let us have a piece that we would transform into our, yeah. our world. And about an hour later, an email came back saying, what a lovely idea, wow. come and talk to us. Oh, and I just That's love so that brilliant. openness. Yeah. And, and uh, so that feels like a, a huge turning point. Yeah. It's a great thing. Yeah. We're coming to the end of yeah. our time. I want to quickly ask you, uh, proudest professional moment outdoors. What, what's a great moment of that? Oh, no, but <laughs> actually, I, I, actually, the shows at the National felt really special. Uh, yeah. Some of the night shows at, at the National. Yeah. But sometimes you can do a little show in a schoolyard mm -hmm. do you know, somewhere. Do, I wonder if you're the same one. I'm sorry, this is in Venezuela. UK, Venezuela. Yeah. We, okay. me, and her, me and Cathy did a, did a me and uh, her, yeah. <laughs> me and the missus. Me and missus. <laughs> <laughs> we did a show for school kids in Venezuela. And they were just so happy. Oh, no. And yeah. I, so, I got so nervous. I got as well, so nervous. They were as ready. Well. They were all sitting down yeah. like this oh. with their beautiful hair. And they said, "Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming from Europe." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's the brilliant. strangest moment. Sometimes yeah. you can yeah. be in an opera house yeah. and not be nervous, and then mm. other times yeah. you do. Yeah. We haven't even talked about the opera house. That's mm. a, that was a really proud moment for me. I felt like my my children yeah. had graduated when I watched the, the, the opera, opera house, house. Uh, yeah. and it was like, "Oh my God, this uh, is on a scale." And and there was a little moment. There was some some little trick I recognised and I was like, I know, I know, I know what that, that is. Actually, it was the same for us. We were thinking of all these people, Charlie Helen from Circus yeah. Space, yeah. Angus. Yeah. No, all was, the people who have helped us get It's there. going to the yeah. Met. It's it amuses me that we're going it's, to the Met. It's amazing. It's I sometimes, and also yeah. when you were headlining Sadler as well. So I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like actually, this is amazing. For me, Sadler's was a tick box. That, yeah. that I was kind of, it's I was 20 years. Box. Yeah, it was a big tick box. But my God, that you even had that as a possible tick box. As a juggler. <laughs> and you did it. I mean, that's where, I mean, great. the tenacity yeah. of that is brilliant. Uh, to someone going to, uh, wanting to go into World of Outdoors, what's the, what's the great thing for you about being in an outdoor environment? Uh, it's fantastic because it throws everything at you. Yeah. It's always a different situation. Uh, it can be super difficult because the weather is against you and the sun is in your eyes mm -hmm. and somebody shouting in the corner, somebody drunk going, Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> and you know, the music doesn't work and well, yeah. there's all sorts of problems. And, but it's so satisfying when you yeah. manage to go through those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's people smiling in front of you. Mm -hmm. You actually see them because there's no lights. Yeah. So you can see the yeah, people yeah, in front yeah. of you. It's great. It's actually, they're yeah, seeing the faces for me yeah, as well. That's, nice. I love seeing yeah. them. Like today, there's a moment yeah. Where I kind of, even though I'm pretending, I, I, there's a bit, my peripheral vision is watching the audience and I, 
I feed off that. I remember our mm -hmm. re one of our, our rehearsal director, the wonderful Emma Lister, uh, is a was a, a great ballerina, and she loves being in the black box. Yeah. She hates seeing the audience. Right. Whereas yeah. I hate the pure black box. Sure. I really connect. don't like it. Even at the yeah. opera, I love it when the curtain comes up and you see this ocean of faces. Yeah. That gives me... But that's the opening of Smashed, is that connection. You come on it's... and you face us and you engage with us and we then are with you. That's so yeah. key. But I used to be the same. I, I, didn't, I didn't like when it's... Yeah. people. So yeah. something I've learned. Something outdoors that has stayed with you that you've seen, not of your own work. I used to love the naturals. Natural the natural, still yeah, going. Natural, yeah, yeah, natural, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the natural. Yeah, I used to like company. which any, any particular cone heads? All of them. Cone heads, I, I was. <laughs> cone heads, I love them. The naked the people. Kissing, the kissing policemen. Yeah, the kissing policemen. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and that's interesting because that's very different, obviously, from your own outdoor. Yeah, work. totally. Yeah. But we used to. Yeah. Oh no! It was that. Uh, it's not funny. That's what oh, we wanted to be part of. Yeah, they, oh, yes. she said I could do I it. I don't think what the character was called. But they used to have National No Laughing Day yeah, that's and right. they used to have these panels yeah. that went, yes, it's yes, not yes. funny. They yeah. part in that, yeah. but they wouldn't let us. They wouldn't let us. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then for me, actually it was one of the last times I smoked dope. And it was in, uh, in the, on the island of Tesh Helen. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, it was before I met Catty. And I'd had a little kind of sleepy afternoon Dutch nap. Yeah. And I don't know what Dutch, you know how different <laughs> Dutch naps are to Amazing. English naps. And then I heard these bells. So I went out with this bed and breakfast and there was these three horses and these four shaved head guys doing kind of buto clowning with a king behind with and then they had one of them tied to the back of the horse and they were just whipping him and laughing and we followed these horses to the beach and they just did this bonkers performance wow. performance with and I found that was Derevo. Derevo, who are these crazy Russian clowns. Okay, and wow. they were living in a house next to ours. The rumor was that they were doing a vow of silence. So they wouldn't talk to just get really into character. And then they wouldn't use the... I don't know if this is all true. This is what yeah. we got told. And we were a bit like, oh, wow, they're next yeah. door. But they, they, they wouldn't use the water. So they would get seawater and distill it and kind of... They were just hardcore. But wow. Great shows. That was Great. That they, in cool. fact, they never did the no. best, what we call shit juggling, because we've tried for years to do shit juggling, like just you just don't know how to I mean, do it. Like, I'm, I'm really, that's me. <laughs> and they just did a scene where they just threw sticks at each other it and didn't hilarious. catch anything. And they just do circus poses. Oh. And, Brilliant. I've never heard of it, and I no. will look it up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, our time's done. Uh, obviously, one of my great proud moments was being on stage in ah, yeah, Smash, right. the 100th yes. performance, and not yes. having to juggle and, and being able to drop. <laughs> There's a you. lovely picture of you doing it's that. It's still on my Facebook, isn't oh. it? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, so, so thank you for that. We're so part of my journey. Thank you for Thanks. Thank you very much journey. for doing this. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good. Yeah, thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah.